Hey there, today I am going to give you a brief overview of using ProType Titler. My situation has occurred when I want to take a poem or something that was typed and somebody wants to do a voice narration um, underneath it and normally this is going to happen in a montage situation which has happened to me. I already have my project put together and now at the end I want to um, insert my text. So what I'm going to do is go over to Media Generators and Prototype Titler has some presets that you can see right here. Um, I'm going to choose Center Baseline and you can just play around with these um, to see what you like best. There's really a lot to learn here but just to give this tutorial where you can actually get something accomplished I'm just going to kind of whip through it and I apologize if you don't understand um, some lingo. You need to understand some key framing here. Um, down in this area here is the duration of your new title. Now what I've done is I've already typed up in notepad here you know just my narration. I've already recorded my narration too which you would have already done ahead of time. I'm just going to compile all these different pieces together now. Often what I'll do is somebody will have a poem and it's um, already you know maybe from their grandma or something like 50 years ago and it's just in a piece of paper. I'll actually scan it in into a text document and this is exactly um, the result that I get. So I don't really like typing a whole lot, I like to copy and paste. That's why I do this option. So I will just copy this info. Now when I dropped in my preset, it already had some text here. So I'm going to double click on that and it gives me the ability to edit. I'm going to right click and paste my information in there. Now I just, just take a minute to understand what's happening here and you can see it says text edit mode, click here or escape to exit. So you can click there or you can hit escape and now we're in this box that ha has all the um, text within it and it's way too large. Right here in this area you can zoom in and out. So I'm actually going to zoom out a little bit here um, so I can see where this box is. This rectangular box here is my window. I want my text to be within this window. And here now you can see um, in my preview. Now I'm going to double click into this area so it will give me my properties for adjusting my font and other um, things. Well, I'm actually going to select all of that. And I like it because you can scroll through and you can see um, in real time your different um, font that you might like. This one's pretty. I like that. Going to just do a, you know, change my color up on my font. I like these. I like colors. And as you can see, um, a lot of times you're like, oh, that's a great color. I really enjoy uh, the font, but you can't read it. That happens a lot, especially you have to keep that in mind. You know, who's your audience of this video? And I already know just from experience that um, they're not going to be able to read that. No way. Um, line, I'm going to center all my text. So know that that's under text. You have to be clicked on your text and then you can change that option under line alignment. 
You can change your font style, weight. I'm going to drag down my font till it all fits within the save title area. When you watch on a television, you want um, all this text here to, you know, fit within there. And then you know nobody's going to have anything cut up, cut off. Okay. So I am just going to close this out for now. And I have that down here. Now I've already brought in my voiceover. I have, I like to set my folders up so it's easy to navigate in between pictures, videos, titles, voiceover, whatever else I might need. So I'm going to drop my, I'm going to control Z. Make sure that is not selected. Okay, now I'm going to drop in my voiceover. I'm just going to drag this photo. Didn't work out. Okay, so you take your titler area and you stretch it to match your voice over or narration, whatever you would like to call it. Now I'm going to click into the properties of the generated media. I'm going to want to, over here, click on transform and let's just check here why. So why is, and if you take a little tester here, because sometimes I'm like, oh, why X can't keep them straight, but um, you can test it and see that it is moving. Now right here on my timeline for my keyframes for my motion within my pro type titler, I'm going to drag it all the way to the end. I'm going to take my Y and I'm going to make sure that it's all the way out of the scene. And I'm going to check. Let's see. Jennifer is going to give a tutorial. Oh wait, that's see that's not good enough. We'll just fade up and take it to here, go back in, match this event length. Make sure I still have my motion and you know what, in the beginning here, sometimes if you're too far off the screen, you know, then you have this weird, you know, time, lag time. Let's see what happens. Jennifer is going to give a tutorial on many different types of issues that have come up in my own work life. Now you can do many other things and not just scroll, but today I will only show you how to do this one option in Sony Vegas 11 Pro. All right, so you definitely need to move this around a little bit, but you can master it and get this done hopefully with this tutorial. Thanks for watching.